in Roadhouse, there are three rules. Three rules to abide in order for this place to run smoothly. Rule number one. Never let your guard down. Rule number two. Take it outside. No matter what, take it outside. Find a way to call them out. Fine. I don't care if you gotta say something. You get them outside, I don't know if you need two men and bring them outside, take them outside. And number three, very easy, very simple, be nice. Just be nice, you know? Even if they call you a cocksucker. Me nice. It sounds too too good to believe, but all you have to do is be nice. Be nice. You know they call your mother a whore. I mean, the real question is, is she? But be nice. That's all. That's all we want. Be nice. 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 Everybody, Matt the Man here. I hope you're doing well. So Amazon put out their new, I don't know, no, not original, not original, it's a remake, can't be original, uh, their new Roadhouse film, uh, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, um, Danielle Mella, Daniela Melchor, Millie Magnuson, and Connor McGregor. Uh, this was directed by Doug Lyman, who's known for the Born Identity, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Jumper, um, American Maid, Edge of Tomorrow. I bring that up, and then we get into that later on. Um, so, let's get into it. Positives. Jake Yonal. I like Jake Yonal. He, he was good in this movie. He's charming at times. He's, you know, he begins to be the macho guy. Uh, once again, he shows his muscular, his guns, unlike me. Um, and, you know, he, he works on the role. You believe him as the character of Dalton. Um, I think, I think he did a good job. Uh, Millie Magnuson is another one who continues to impress me as an actor. Um, he was in the last Bond movie as one of the villains. Uh, I thought he was good in that. Here, he's also the villain. He's a real asshole, douchebag. And in a weird way, he's able to play it a little bit over the top. But not in a way that you're like... You're way... You're going way too overboard with this character. So, I enjoyed him a lot when he was on screen. The pacing is over two hours. Which is exactly the same runtime as the original. And I thought this moved a lot better than the original Roadhouse. I actually finally saw the original Roadhouse last month to get ready for this remake. And, I mean, it's a classic 80s movie, but I'm not... I mean, I thought the pacing was slow. One of my negatives... Um, I don't... Now, like I said, I've been before, Doug Lyman. He's known for action, the born identity, a lot of action scenes, a lot of hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, a lot of action scenes, a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, like in the kitchen scene 
with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Um, Edge of Tomorrow, action, a lot of it. Emily Blunt, Tom Cruise. The reason why I'm saying this is, for some reason, the action scenes in this movie, even the hand-to-hand -hand combat, right, punchy-punchy, they're CGI. They're CGI. They're CGI. They are CGI. Why are we CGIing two people fighting? I didn't get it. Not to mention the way they shot those scenes. I don't know if it was like an anamorphic lens or something, but it was weird. It was awful. I mean, I'm watching these fight scenes and I'm like, who shot this movie? What amateur? And then you realize it's young lineman. And you go, the guy who did the board identity? Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Edge of Tomorrow? That guy? Even Jumper? Had some good action scenes? That guy? That guy? Ian. On a bridge where a truck is trying to run over and kill Jake Gyllenhaal's character. And the truck is CGI. Am we running out of trucks? We can't get a real truck and put it in the movie? We got a CGI trucks now? Did I miss something? Or there's a, there's a, or we can't have two people fighting? Hand to hand combat? We had, it has to be CGI? A year ago, we had John Wick 4. A year ago! Exactly a year ago! And now we got this. We got this. What is this? People fighting in a bar is CGI. They can do it in the 80s. They can't do it now. I, I really want to know what the budget for this movie was. Because if this movie is over $100 million to make, all of that was because of the CGI. What you didn't need. Conor, uh, Conor McGregor. He's a fighter, not an actor. Um, also... Jill Hall and Daniela, Daniela Melkor, their relationship, I didn't mind. There was no chemistry there. Not to mention, they didn't spend enough time developing that relationship. Which is odd, because this movie is exactly the same runtime as the original. And the one thing I can say, at least about the original, is they spent a lot of time with Patrick Crazy and the nurse and really developed that relationship in the original. Here they don't do that. What was the point of having this relationship if A, they don't have any chemistry, and B, you're not spending enough time developing their relationship? Doesn't work. I would give this a 3.5 out of 5. Let me know in the comments below. Did you see the new Roadhouse on Amazon? What did you think, think of it? Are you a fan of the original with Patrick Swayze? Um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and, as always, in the comments, me nice. Me nice. That's all you got me. Me nice.